I guess my first question is, is this, is this the, the underpinnings of tech over the next 10 years as we mm -hmm. seem to be emerging from the period of frantic growth and development in smartphones? Yeah. Well, I think it's, I, I think it's gigantic. Um, I do. I think natural language understanding, I think machine learning in general, artificial intelligence, um, uh, this, it's probably hard to overstate how big of an impact it's going to have on society over the next 20 years. So it, it, it is big. Um, it, is, uh, it doesn't mean that um, you know, phones are going to go away or anything like no. that. It's not, it's, not like natural, it's not like voice interfaces are going to replace screens. So you know, people have eyes, and as long as people have eyes, they will also want screens, and, and we have fingers, we like to touch things, and so on. But it, but it has been a dream ever since you know, people started, you know, in the early days of science fiction, to have a computer that you can talk to in a natural way and actually have a conversation with and ask it to do things for you. And that is coming true. Um, and uh, and we're, you're seeing similar uh, amazing progress with machine vision. Uh, we're, you know, the, 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 the combination of new and better algorithms vastly superior compute power uh, and the ability to harness huge amounts of training data, uh, those three things are coming together to solve some previously unsolvable problems. And they're going to drive a tremendous amount of utility for customers, and customers are going to adopt those things. So uh, is this, at Amazon in particular, are you deeply committed to this becoming a huge part of your business and what you do? A absolutely. We've been working on it. You know, we worked on it um, kind of behind the scenes for uh, four years. We have more than a thousand people dedicated just to Alexa and the Echo ecosystem. Uh, we have now a big third set of third-party apps, the Alexa skills um, that people have built using our SDK. And uh, it's a, uh, and there's so much more to come. It's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with these kinds Would of technologies. Would you say technologies. the tip of the iceberg is it the first inning, or is it's it the, the first th inning? Okay, it might, it might even be the you know the first first guys up at bat. It's really early, and it's a, it's gonna. It's, I think we're on the edge of a golden era. It's gonna be so exciting to see what happens. Just as a consumer, I want to see Who do you think are your competitors in this? It, it, given that the first guy's up at bat, yeah. we don't really know what's going to happen well, five I mean, innings all, later. All but. the major tech companies will do this, but there'll also be hundreds of startup companies, and there will be new advances. One of the things that right now, com bigger companies like Amazon have an advantage because of the, especially because of the training data sets that are required to do this. So you, you need a lot of data to do extraordinary things with the current algorithms we have. But just remember, humans learn in a very different way. So it's, we, we don't yet know how hu humans are unbelievably data efficient. We learn these incredibly complex things. You know, you don't have to drive a million miles to be able to drive a car. Right. But the way we teach a self-driving car to drive today is we have the algorithms drive a million miles. And they're still not as good in certain scenarios as a human would be. And so humans are doing all kinds of special things to make that possible. We're also very power efficient. So, you know, um, AlphaGo, which is a, a really impressive achievement, uh, beat the world's best Go player, as you guys undoubtedly know. But, you know, he's operating on about 50 watts. You know, his, it's, if, you had, if, 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 if AlphaGo had to be limited to 50 watts, he'd have creamed it. <laughs> and so it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's very interesting. Humans are just doing something fundamentally different from the current way that we do machine learning and machine intelligence.